Dr. Nicholas Mercer with You Improve PT. I found this really cool purple wall. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who has ever seen it and taken a picture here. Um, I just thought that was cool. It made me think of all the different ways that you can use a wall to help prevent and decrease some lower back pain that you may get at the parks. A lot of people's back pain comes from improper posture, from gravity just weighing down on them and bringing them into this slightly more comfortable position. But over time, even though this position, you don't have to use as much muscle and control, it causes a lot of pain, not only in your neck, but in your lower back. So simple way we can use just a wall to help reset our posture and prevent or decrease some of that lower back pain and some neck pain that you may get. So first thing you need to do, like most of the exercises, is stand up nice and tall using the wall as a cue. So you're gonna try to get your feet about shoulder width apart, heels up against the wall, your booty should be touching the wall, your upper back should be touching the wall, and then the back of your head should be touching the wall, just like this, okay? All you're gonna do is try to hold that position as you take really nice deep breaths, inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. You should feel your belly button pull in as you exhale. Good, inhale, exhale. All right, with every breath, make sure heels, booty, upper back, and the back of your head are touching the wall. Do that for about five breaths, and you should feel like you're walking around a little taller and uh, feeling a lot better, preventing and decreasing that lower back pain. So, if you are worried about having back pain or you're having a little bit of back pain that you think is due to some bad posture while you're in the parks, do that wall posture exercise. It will improve your overall experience because pain is not magical. Thank <laughs> you.